just going to give a brief history of Nagoonie Stick Fighting. Nagoonie Stick Fighting is a live art in South Africa where the South African tribes, uh, particularly the Zulu, will go out and practice um, throughout the day. And they usually do this for like special occasions and things like that, weddings. Um, but it's still very much a live art. And this is a reconstruction. Well, I use this as a basis for reconstruction of my Iqua and Shield, which we'll be seeing next week, um, and things like that. So it was very important for me to get a good understanding and working knowledge of this before going forward. So this is the base of everything that you're going to be seeing me do in the next four weeks. Um, it helped me translate a lot of the Egypt war are based on it. Now that's just my interpretation coming from the Goonie stick fighting and working my way backwards. It may not be correct. It might be correct. <laughs> We're still trying to gather more knowledge as we go along. Alright, so, if there's no other questions, we'll go ahead and get start stretching. So, what I have here is just a weighted stick. Um, this one happens to be by Cold Steel, but um, this is what I use for part of my workout because it's fairly dense and heavily weighted. You're going to be doing a lot of things with your arms. Um, so that's where we're going to stretch, stretch them out really well and open them up. So we're going to start with the wrist and we're just going to simply do extensions out and we're going to raise and lower five times each wrist. One, two, three. Four, five. On your forearms here, but that's okay. We're gonna switch sides here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. From here, we're going to do forwards with your right hand because this is going to be the one that you're going to be fighting with a lot one two three four and five okay we have a question uh, Maribel is asking, does the weight of uh, the stick we use matter? No, actually it doesn't matter. The weight is constant. Is the sticks that you see are usually uh, fairly light in the fighting aspect and they're pad for the striking stick, it's padded. For the shield stick, it's not heavily padded. It's uh, just used in conjunction with a kind of like a buckler and I'll show you that in a moment so the weight is doesn't particularly matter I do it a lot of the weights to get my strength and my endurance up but you can do the same thing with like a three pound dumbbell that you can find at like Walmart or like any thrift store for like fairly cheap so from here we're gonna do shoulder shrugs five times forward five times backwards Now backwards. The thing you'll find with the Goonie stick fighting, it is very, very dependent on movement of the upper body. Not necessarily as much in the lower body. With the lower body, you're going to be doing a lot more uh, hopping steps. 
So again, I'm going to show you that momentarily. And for those of you watching, please keep in mind there's about a 45 second lag. So when you ask a question, it's going to take a few moments for us to get to it. So from here, let's go to bend forward. Ooh, stretch. Slowly come up. Now we're going to do go backwards. Slowly come up. Now we're going to go to the right side. From here, I'm gonna do a little bit, a little bit of stretching on the legs, not too much. So we're gonna bend forward. Gonna try to touch toes. If you can't, don't stress it. Slowly come up. Now, because we're doing a lot of work, you're good. It's just frozen on my end. Okay. Because we're doing a lot of work with your left foot forward. One moment. Okay, I went back into it. It's still freezing? No. Okay. I had to close it and reopen it. Okay. There we go. So, as I was saying, with Nagoonie stick fighting, you're doing a lot of work with your left foot forward. So, we're just going to do some slight lunge and holds. I'm going to come down. for 15. And slowly come up. I'm going to do this one more time. Slowly come up, even though I didn't do it that time. Okay, so just a quick reference on what we're doing. Now you're going to see me switch back and forth between items um, because I'm going to try and use implements that's going to show the motions a little bit better because it's like I said it's a lot of wrist work a lot of wrap shots going into this okay so things I have is old walking stick um, this is the shape of what the zoo bucklers look like all of these we call them bucklers because they're small but it's the shield that they use um, with their in conjunction with their blocking stick. This is just a d wooden dowel you can get from like Walmart or wherever, and a dog toy 
take oh. on the end of it, just so that we can make sure that if we're striking something, we don't damage it. Um, I haven't tried it out sparring yet, but I will be doing that very soon. Um, okay, so as as stated, you're gonna have your left foot forward. And it's just the basic the basic stance I'm gonna show you first. Okay, so the forward in here, your legs are slightly bent. Um, the predominance of the the blocking stick is down. And the shield is going to be just a little bit under your cheek, lined up. So I'm going to turn sideways and let you see that. Okay. From there, your first shot is going to be to your opponent's left side, which is going to be thrown from your right side to your right side. So it's going to be high shot there. So it's going to, from here, come around straight out. Okay? So we're going to do this 10 times. Okay? So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, we're going to do the same thing. You're going to be going to your opponent's right, which is going to be a shot to my left up high on the opponent. Okay, so this is going to be striking the neck to temple area is what you want. Okay, so from here, again, we're going to be doing this 10 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so notice as I as we get into the next set, I'm going to start showing you how to step when you throw because it gets, from here it's a lot of wraps, so it's going to be wrap shots. So instead of how we came the first time we came directly in, it's going to be there and then down. So a lot of shots like that. And so when you do that, when you come forward, as you start that turn here, as you're moving those hips, you're gonna wanna wrap over. So from here, it comes around to there. But see how I'm stepping forward as I start that forward motion. There. Now at the same point in time, you're also pulling your upper body back. Again, sorry about that. It's a few technical difficulties. Um, so from here, we're going to pick up exactly where we left off, which is that overhead wrap shot. And... Like I, as I explained before, we're going to be stepping forward while pulling the body back, the upper body back at the point of impact. Okay, you're going to see a little bit of shifting in the knee, going from forward to almost back. You're going to almost end up in like a cat.
the end you're also, but you're going to step. So you're not going to be completely off balance. Okay? So. There. See where that shift comes in? Step forward. Throw. There. At your impact point. Step forward. Throw. And back at your impact point. Now you're going to end up, that front foot is going to come off the ground to keep you from getting off balance. And that's perfectly fine. Um, in Nagoonie stick fighting, what you're going to see, what you see is a lot of kind of forward and back. There's some side to side, but it's still in the same kind of step. Okay, so plant it here, your forward step. And your backward step. See how that is? Now your lateral, your lateral movement, your side to side movement is going to be just as easy. It's step, pull. Step, pull. You're not gonna, it's not gonna go more than half shoulder, half your shoulder length at any point in time. Your feet are usually going to be, they're going to start at shoulder width apart and your movement is only going to half that. When you're going to step forward, you're only taking half your shoulder width. Okay? It's primarily to keep yourself on balance and things like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift to something else. I'm going to go back to that wrap shot that I just showed you, and then we're going to do it to the opposite side. But I want you to see the motion a little bit more, and we'll see if this works. So, from here, I'm going to step forward, throw. Now you see how this comes forward. Now you're going to drive it like there's like this axe portion. Boom, it's right in the back of their head. Pop, it turns over. Pop, it turns over. Pop, it turns over. Pop. Okay? Now, to the opposite side. It is still step. Now, when you're here, this is where it's going to come down. Okay? So it's there, there. So at the head, shift it towards the center of the head. So then throw and shift. I can do it a little bit smoother with this. So then again, you know, pop, pop, pop. There's not going to be as much of a pullback on that strike. As you'll see with the other, as, as the one to the right side. Now, from there, you're going to do a lot, or sorry, your strikes to the midsection are going to start off again, just like the basic strike to their to their right side, just, just blunt and to the point, just casting it out, pop, pop. Slow that down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, to the opposite side, you're going to do this exact same thing towards the same, towards the opposite side of your target. Now with this, what's going to happen is you're going to dip that shield down a little bit and towards you. So the top section, point here, is going to end up coming back towards me. 
as I'm throwing. Okay? So it's going to come. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay? Now, we're going to throw a wrap to the mid body coming from the right side. Okay? And we're going to do this for count of ten. Now, the same dynamics as before, is just when you get to that point of impact, you're going to see the shoulders jerk back, okay? So, there. 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 Ten. All right. Now, as you're coming across for that mid attack onto your from your left side, so you're going to go down there, and then you're going to whip it back up. So it's going to be. Okay. Now, do we have any questions? Nothing I can see yet. Okay. So from here. What I want to work on is that lower, we're gonna get lower attacks from the right side. Now, your striking zone is gonna be roughly from about a f two fingers above the knee to the hip on this, okay? And again, it's just no messing around, no fuss, no muss, straight in. Pop! 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 Now, when I do it, You'll see my shield hand tip a little bit. That's to make sure that my defense is still there while I'm going low. Because if you have any kind of martial experience, you understand the low shots are going to be when you are most vulnerable. And this helps cover that. Okay? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, there is a wrap shot to that. Then it will go over to the left side. Because the left side's a little bit tricky and I haven't quite worked the deliveries on that out yet. But it's going to come out, down, and just towards the back of the thigh. Pop. That's where that pop's gonna happen. 
Okay. So we're gonna throw. Pop. Again. Pop. Again. Pop. Again. Pop. Again. Pop. Again. Pop. Now, also, one thing you'll notice is when you roll that wrist coming back up, the head of your fighting club, your striking club, is going to come up a little bit, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's part of the changing that angle that makes those shots work so well. Okay? Pop. So we're going to do this three more times. Pop. Pop. Oops, sorry, didn't do that right. Pop. There you go. Pop. Pop. Well, that was lazy. Don't count that one. Pop. 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 Move two steps to your left. Okay. Because you keep moving towards your right, and that's why you're hitting that. So that gives you that wiggle room to move yep, on. Yep. How's the camera angle? You're good. All right, cool, cool. All right, so now for the left side, striking your opponent's left hand side. Again, we're going to dip the top of the shield back towards you a little bit. But we're going to keep that sideward angle. Alright? So. Pop. Now, the reason why you come across your chest at chest height here is because if, they're trying, if their response is to come back towards your head, it's a little shipped up. But you're keeping that side mostly covered. Little shifts here and there are going to be fine. It's you want to make sure that the predominance of your body is covered so that way any gaps that you have you know about them. Because these when you're doing this proper there is no like second guessing yourself. You have to know exactly where your openings are at all times and be ready to cover them. Okay, so again, we're going to throw towards their left, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, this is the harder one to do. Um, does the pullback represent the slicing motion if that was an Iqua spear? Okay, so there's two reasons. There are two reasons for the pullback. If you're, or a few reasons. Yes, it is a strike. Um, what it is, is, is shifting the angle. So instead of, instead of attacking with the front your blade is kind of like a false edge cut on your coming back. So you're going to extend it out. Uh, blade side, then come back. Show you with this. You'll be able to see it a little bit better. So you're coming down, blade side. Okay? Then back blade, boom is what's going to hit. So you're coming down, extending from your front. Say the spike here is your front, right? Boom. This ridge is your back. So you're going to throw it out and pull. That works with the Iqua as well as the axe. Um, and I'll be able to show you a little bit more with that coming up, uh, possibly in another series. I had to order it. Um, but... It's roughly the same motion. Okay? So just stay tuned, I'll have more on that. Alright. Now again with this with this low shot and this wrap on the comeback, you have to step a little bit deeper. I know earlier I stated that you're not gonna step more than shoulders width. Or half your shoulder width. 
This is going to be more like three fourths, okay? Because when you throw, you're going to have to get in deep in order for that comeback on this side to come back. Eventually, what's going to happen is when you do that wrap comeback, it's going to hit from here to here. Okay, so this is going to be the target area once that tip comes up. So you have to throw it a little bit lower. All right, and you don't want to sacrifice a whole lot by digging down at the waist. You want that to be on that front foot. So it's there. Okay. Like such. Pop. Now you'll see me step from side to side depending on which way I'm going. When you step, when you come back up, you should, your lead foot, or your, sorry, your rear foot should go at an angle. So when you step down, boom, you're going to step, pivot that rear foot, and when you come up. One. Two, three, four, that was too high, four, it's getting too high, four, there we go, five, six, seven, eight, step back, nine, 10. Now, basically, what this is going to be is to get around that low block because you're expecting it to be there. But when you do this motion, you end up dipping down and below that shield, the blocking stick to come up. Uh, in a couple moments, I'll be able to show you a little bit better on that as soon as I get my assistant over here. Uh, while we're waiting on that, we're going to go back to that top, the top tap, okay, the top, we'll start do the first four, one, two, three, four, okay, one, two, three, Four. Okay. I'm going to do that two more times. We're not going to count it out. We're just going to go. All right. Ready? Go. All right. So now we're going to do a cross. So we're going to do high to their right to mid to their left. Then we're going to come back low on their right with that wrap. Okay. I'm going to do this one time and I'm going to do it. We're going to do it slow. Okay. So, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. See how that kind of flows together? One, two, three. One more time. One, two, Three. Can you come here for a second? Yes. Okay. What am I doing? We're going to stand here. Like ready. 
So I'm not gonna hit you. Don't worry. Yeah. The other hand too. Okay. That's all I'm trying. Get the stance. So, as I'm saying, you're throwing that low shot. That's what. If you're not doing the wrap, it's gonna come in like that. If you're doing that wrap, it'll come around. Sorry. that it just dips down and under okay now sometimes I throw that as a compound like I'll get there I'll stop and then proceed but what you're doing is there there okay there there sorry that doesn't hurt too much does it that's okay you're going full speed that gonna hurt yeah <laughs> But I knew I was going to get hit with that thing. I said it earlier. I'm but, like, I know that's going to get me. It's going to be me. <laughs> what time are we looking at? Uh, right now, it is currently 12.37. Okay. So we'll go for a couple more minutes. And then we'll call, then we'll call it. Um, Take some questions it's and whatnot. Really hot, it's really hot. And I'll turn the rest of that time into question and answering. So just bear with. All right. So from here, because it's going to become important, I'm going to shift away from the from stick fighting just a little bit to get into the shield and niqua using this. The reason why is because I want to give a primer for next week. Okay. So from here, now we know how that first shot goes. Boom. Right. So that first shot, when you throw it. You know, throw that wrap, cut with the cut with the back edge, and thrust. All right. So, throw, wrap, thrust. Throw, wrap, thrust. All right. And it's going to be the same on the other side. Throw, wrap, thrust. Now, when you do it, it's going to be a lot tighter, and it's going to be a lot crisper. And what I'll do next week is I'll also bring out um, my Iqua to show you with the same as well. And I'll also bring out a full size uh, war shield. So get ready for that next week. Any questions? Let's move you over into the shade for a little bit of question time. That way, come on over here so you can be in the shade and people can still see you. Just the slats over there make it so hard to see you. I understand. I understand. It's, it's creepy up into the hundreds out here right now, so being out in the direct sunlight like that is taxing. Alright, so you have any questions? No one has asked any questions thus far. Um, we've had Jamal in the chat. Uh, we got Josh. Um, I'm trying to get it to show me the list of people. And it's being a pain in the butt, but. Um, but no questions thus far. Let's see here. Hey, Ingo. I hope I'm saying everybody's names right. If I'm not, I totally apologize. It is awesome to have you guys here. If you all have any questions about the Nagoonie stick fighting, um, any questions in general, uh, be sure and sound off in the chat. Um, we can also, if necessary later, um, set up a little bit of a Twitch for question and answer. So that way it'll be inside yeah you know that too um actually that's what that's what we'll do um if you have any questions i'm going to post a link up to my twitch account and what we'll do from there is we'll handle all questions there as well as next week we will recap questions in the beginning the lead up into the next class so that way we make sure everybody gets their questions answered and we don't leave anyone behind all right, so awesome. that was it for class one.
of the Elite Warrior Series and the Goonie Stick Fighting. Hannah sponsored. Thank you. All right. The Historical African Martial Arts Association's Hero Series celebrates the great military leaders of Africa's past. Order yours today at teespring.com.